Hey everyone, my name is Vic Taylor and welcome to another Black Ops video. Apologies for the little bit of lag at the beginning here, it does disappear completely in a couple of seconds. As you can see, I'm falling back on my trusty old commando with the red dot sight in this video. That's cause I've had three videos in a row which have been weapons reviews, so I kinda wanna talk about something other than the weapons for this video. The gameplay. Uh, as you can see from the little funny drop jump thing I did there, this was the first video where I ever drop shotted. And oh you fail, I fail, I fail more. No scoping idiot. But this was the first game where I ever used drop shotting on and I did well enough for me to think that drop shotting was the new Hail Mary. So you know I kept doing it. I am gonna say here though that the other team were full of shit kids with snipers. I mean look at this ignoring the part where I flash myself, just ignore that, that's not important. But look at this. You're gonna shoot me in the foot? What the fuck is that gonna do, you little bitch? And spawn trapping doesn't work in team deathmatch. That makes you stupid. Stupid as well as idiotic. Ugh. I don't like snipers. I had a game on a ray uh, tonight and there was a sniper on another team and he ended my, you know, really long win streak that I had going. So I don't like snipers. But this is the first game player I ever drop shotted. And I find that drop shotting is a bit of a learned behaviour. I mean, when I learnt, taught myself to do it, I was doing it automatically. Which is why you'll sometimes see me drop shotting people when their backs are turned. Which is really lame. But that's what you'll see. And I recently, as everyone knows, used the FN foul for a bit. And I was focusing so much on actually pointing at the person and the accuracy and everything, other than being able to hit to just spray and pray with my fully auto, that I forgot to drop shot. It's it's stupid as that sounds. And I've now kind of unlearned the behaviour because I switched back to a fully auto and I found that I wasn't drop shotting and I was losing a higher percentage of gunfights than what I would if I had been drop shotting. So now I'm trying to reteach the behaviour to myself, which is a bit sucky to be honest. But I, I guess it's good that I can relearn tactic. Ah, but yes, I did quite well in this game drop shotting, which means I really like drop shotting basically. Ah, so drop shotting should be something automatic that you don't have to think about. Because the less things that you have to think about and process while you're playing, the better. And I know I'd have no idea why I, why I knifed the air there. That was a bit of a fail. Ha! Huh. I'm sorry if I sound a little out of breath for this video. I just got back from a run. Well, I say run. It was more of a run for 30 seconds. Then I got a stitch and just hobbled along for the rest of the 10 minutes. Oh, I'm just so unfit. I mean, up until 8 or 9 months ago, I played football, or soccer, if you're American, semi-professionally. So I was very fit. And you know, training sessions every week, uh, more than more than once every week, and then games at the weekend. And you know, I was could really pull my weight and run a lot. Uh, but since the last eight nine months, I haven't done any sort of exercise like that at all. And oh, I was so fucking unfit, and it's just it's just nasty when you're unfit and you can't run, isn't it? I mean, the thing that I use to get myself pumped up is listening to music while I run, and that could barely keep me going today. Oh, but I felt slightly less dead than when I ran for 10 minutes a week ago, so, you know, I'm, I'm getting better. Ha! Huh. I played on Black Ops before I went out for my run, and I must have played with about 7 or 8 people uh, from YouTube, as well as a few friends. It's really awesome playing with you guys, and it's a lot better playing with you guys than playing with randoms, obviously. And as I said in one of my previous videos, it's making me feel part of the community just like you guys. So it's, yeah, it's all good. Uh, oh, double kill, double kill with the bitch shot snipers. Ha! Bitches, I should teabag them. I'm not going to. But yes, the main problem was the party system. Because, I mean, I knew I know a few people got kicked from my party. Um, so I was worrying more about whether everyone was in the party and was accounted for than I was actually about playing at times. So, you know, it's not the greatest. But, you know, it's no one's fault and I want to play with each and every single one of you guys so, so don't, you know, feel like I ignored you or something because I really didn't. 
proper the, the party system. I mean, I think the entire party party system of Black Ops is summed up by the point where my cat jumped on my PS3 and turned it off. I think that just sums it up perfectly, to be honest. And it, we had a good game, and we had some very good scores. I think I got four or five game plays from the two hours, and lots of you YouTube people are going to be in those videos. So, woo! And you'll see a little fail from me here. Well, it's not really a fail from me, it's a fail for him. But he's in second chance, and I think easy knife! You little fucking bitch! Just, I, I want to murder you. I seriously want to come to your house and murder you. Ah, I hate when that happens. Just, what's the point? Dude! Um, when there are second chance users on my, t my team, I, f I really do feel like I'm the only one reviving anyone. Because I'm not one of those people who just leave them or teabag them and leave them. Even if I hate the perk, I am not going to just leave my teammates on the ground. Because that, that's ju that's just being a cunt basically, and it's up there with it's up there with camping and doing all that shit. It's just it's just not on in my opinion. But yeah, I had a funny moment with CC because he used second chance and he was down and he was in the middle of no man's land and I was off to the side and. As people know, I'm having trouble getting my mic to work. And I was basically shouting at the TV, Crawl to me! Crawl to me! I'm not going out there and getting shot! Crawl to me! And then he died, and I'm, I'm just face-palming. I mean, what are you doing? Ah! I just... Oh, I just... Ah! A needless death! Uh, and I think I'm safe here. But I don't know if there's a window to the left of me, and I'm like, I'm safe here, everything's cool, and... Ah! Person! What the fuck? Ah, but the final thing that I want to talk about someone asked me on my channel yesterday how do I pick subjects and topics for the videos that I do well basically it's different for each video I think for the second voice series I ad lib I don't have any plans of what I'm gonna say I just oh, ring a ring of roses you're dead I just, you know, random stuff and talk about the gameplay and generally just act relaxed and cool. For the gun reviews, I have a basic plan of what I'm going to say in my head. I don't write anything down, like notes and everything, but I know the ups and downs of the guns and the setups that I used because I played with them, so I can generally, you know, give an informed and, you know, calm way of doing that without stuttering a lot. For the real life videos, where I have real life stuff to talk about, I do usually either have a full out script or an outline. I start off with the outline most times and I only turn to the script when I've tried it, tried to do the commentary so many fucking times and I'm just getting so pissed off with my inability to do it that I just write out a script and it might sound a little forced or whatever but I sit, sat there for 30 or 40 times doing one commentary and I failed to do it and it just pissed me off so I used the script. So, that's basically what I do for finding out what I want to talk about. Basically, I talk about stuff that's interesting and entertaining for you guys, just as I find entertaining gameplay. So, thank you to anyone and everyone who has been watching. And it wrapped up pretty quickly. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you next time.